These women are asking for help. The group may be small, but it echoes a calling heard across the Democratic Republic of the Congo. For about five years now, an ongoing war has killed millions of people. Thousands of civilians have been forced to flee, and in recent months, the fighting has intensified. During Wednesday's general audience, Benedict XVI calls for the fighting to stop. Continuano ad arrivare preoccupanti notizie sulla grave crisi umanitaria nell'est della Repubblica Democratica del Congo, che da mesi è diventata teatro di scontri armati e di violenze. The fighting involves government troops, rebels and independent militia groups. Politics is part of it, but the fight is also about controlling the country's mineral resources. A rebel group known as M23 has been accused of displacing thousands of civilians. On November 20th, it took control of the provincial capital of Goma. M23 has apparently grown significantly in, in numbers over the past days, and there are other armed groups operating in the area, um, which raises the likelihood of, of recruitment of children. Even though the conflict is in the Congo, it also involves many neighboring countries. On one side, Congo's government is getting support from Angola, Namibia and Zimbabwe. On the other, rebels are backed by Uganda and Rwanda. As the fighting continues, displacements are rising. Rinnovo quindi il mio appello al dialogo e alla riconciliazione e chiedo alla comunità internazionale di adoperarsi per sovvenire ai bisogni della popolazione. Peace deals have been signed, but in the end they've been unsuccessful. The UN Security Council took action by imposing sanctions. In the meantime, the heavy fighting is preventing humanitarian agencies from reaching tens of thousands of displaced people who live in or around those affected areas.